thank you all for coming today. This is really one of the fun events we do all year, and we have a lot of events in October, and they all have their, each have their own personality. And this one's special to a lot of people. We were just going over the plans today, and this one is really personal to a lot of the veterans and a lot of the people in our community. And uh, it's really, it's a labor of love to put this event on. With us today, we have uh, several people. We thank you for coming. I'd like to uh, acknowledge three people up here with us. First, we have Councilwoman Sandra Johnson. From our Parks Department, we have Rhonda Perez, the director. And Brian Whelan, who you'll hear from in a few moments. So for the record, Brian got the loudest clap. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce Councilwoman Sandra Johnson. You know, it's, um, thank God I was thinking that we uh, got to do this press release indoors because our tropical breeze is, is coming here today, so it's good it's here. You know, um, we just wanted to say that if you could please all of you, your, your children, come join our neighbors and our community here to celebrate America on October 13th. On that day, we're going to be celebrating what we're all so proud to be. You know, we're going to have amazing food, we're going to have amazing music, wonderful entertainment, and we're also going to be having a lot of displays to show our history of our wonderful country. You know, sometimes I share stories with you about my journey of life, and one of the things that I'm always proud to say is the sacrifices and the dream that my mom had, and that was to bring me and her other children to the United States of America because she knew that that's where we needed to be to be able to live our dreams. But you know, the key is that no matter how much her dream is or how hard she would have worked to bring us here legally so that we could live the American dream, it wouldn't happen without our heroic veterans. The actions that they've done and they've, the sacrifices that they've made for us allows people like myself and my mother to come from other countries and be able to be here today and say that I am very, very proud to be an American citizen and live the American dream. So I would love to give a big round of applause to our heroic veterans, please. You know, and that applause should be every day, not just October 13th when we celebrate America, or not just on those specific days when we're acknowledging them, but every day. And I have to tell you that every day when I roll out of bed, get on my knees, and give thanks for the day, that's one of the things I give thanks for, is to be able to be here in America. And thanks to the gifts that we are given here in America. And that's what the celebration is gonna be about on October 13th. That's what it's gonna be about, to bring all of your family here, to bring the neighbors here, to have the community come together as one and, and celebrate something that we all have in common. And that's that we're all proud to be Americans. So thank you very much. And with that, I'd like to hand it over to Rhonda. Thank you. This event is um, something that is absolutely a labor of love. Sorry, I don't know where this is coming from. Uh, my husband has been in the military. I do know where this is coming from. Um, he's been in the military for 13 years now, and I know personally what it's like to sacrifice, and that's what this event means to me. This event means coming down here and saying thank you um, for the sacrifices that our military personnel have made and those that have come before us and those that will continue to fight for our freedoms. And uh, I'm really excited, and, and it is a labor of love for the entire team. There's nobody that loves America more than Brian Whalen, and you're going to hear from him <laughs> in just a few minutes, and you hear everybody laugh because it's very true. Uh, Brian bleeds red, white, and blue, and, um, which is why it's so perfect that he's manning this event this year. So because honoring our troops is at the heart of this event, our opening ceremonies will take place at 5 p.m. on the Beck stage. They will feature the presentation of colors, the national anthem, and a special musical presentation by the Lancaster and Quartz Hill High School bands. Immediately following will be a tribute honoring our hometown heroes, um, which are depicted on the banners that line the boulevard from 10th Street West down to Sierra. This tribute includes an opportunity for all local servicemen and women. We'd like to invite everyone to come down and have their photo taken as a group. Throughout this year's event, you will find recreations of some of the most famous war memorials, including the raising of the flag at Iwo Jima and a tribute to the Korean War outside the library. 
Also this year, we will be committing, uh, commemorating rather, our nation's proud history with a special presentation uh, sponsored by High Desert Broadcasting. This will be entitled Moments in History, and it will be an ongoing show, sort of a pop-up here and there, uh, recreation, if you will, of Ben Franklin and George Washington, among others, reciting the Gettysburg Address. Uh, we'll also have the famous kiss between the soldier and the nurse in Times Square. Kissing the war goodbye is what that's called. Uh, and many more. So we have lots of different things this year, and I think that it's an opportunity to come out and be a part of the community. It's a, part, a time to come out and be a part of your family. And I think you can learn a little bit too, especially the kids um, that are still in school. Come out and let them hear the Gettysburg Address. Let them see the kissing the war goodbye, the recreation of Iwo Jima. I think that it'll be very memorable and very exciting for them. So without further ado, Brian Whalen. Um, just like Sandra and Rhonda had just said, um, I, I grew up in the Valley. I uh, grew up an Air Force brat out at Edwards Air Force Base. So I am very proud to be part of this program and part of uh, what's going to be a great event. Um, so many people are proud residents of the Antelope Valley and proud to be uh, from Lancaster and proud to be Americans. So we're going to celebrate that and, and give this thing a, a feel-good event. This thing almost takes, it's, you know, kind of creates its, its own atmosphere as such. <clears throat> um, but basically we're going, to, uh, we're going to do some things on the boulevard. We try to do something new every year so that it's a different event. It's not quite the same. So this year we're going to be honoring our hometown heroes in a way that we that will take beyond, <clears throat> excuse me, the banners on the boulevard. Uh, we're going to have a car show, which we have, and it's our centerpiece, which will start right here at Ehrlich and go down to Fern. Um, something about Americans. We like rebuilding cars and looking at classic, classic stuff. Um, we're going to have an all-American uh, review stage at the LPAC for, uh, that will feature Elvis Presley. Amen. <laughs> Uh, Marilyn Monroe and Frank Sinatra. Um, for the kids, we're going to have obstacle courses down at the far end of the boulevard, climbing walls, a photo booth, and displays for uh, police and fire so the kids can crawl all over those as well, and kids do like doing that. Um, as always, we'll have uh, food and uh, craft uh, uh, vendors and so forth. Um, one of our great support groups across the nation is the Blue Star Moms. We'll have the Lancaster version of that. They're going to be taking non-perishable food items and DVDs and CDs for our troops so they can send those overseas to our guys that are, and ladies that are serving across uh, over the seas and, and over in Afghanistan and Iraq. Um, so and high, uh, hygiene items and so forth as well. Um, the event will be wrapping up with um, our uh, grand fireworks finale. Uh, a good partner of mine, Dan Munns, will be, will be putting that on. He's done a wonderful job the last two years. This year will be even better so. It might rattle our, our neighbors to the north on the other side of Heroes Park, but we're, uh, we're still feel obligated that we need to nail that part of the show. So <laughs> with that, I'll turn it back over to Mark Bozegan. I hope you can see from that the, the passion that everyone has for this event. It's also uh, essentially free. There's a couple things you would have to pay a minor uh, fee for, but the event is free. This is a great family entertainment event where you can bring down, you can learn something, your children, your family can have an appreciation for America, renew their appreciation, and it's free. Another uh, uh, interesting thing this year, how many of you folks went to Antelope Valley High School in this room? Okay. That's, <laughs> there are three of you. <laughs> Antelope Valley High School's been around for 100 years, and that's their centennial weekend. They have a football game and a parade on Friday, and we're combining it on Saturday. We're going to have opportunities for all the old lopes over 100 years to come on out to renew acquaintances. There's an event at the fairground. They can come out here and to the fairground. Remember, too, 100 years, that means that there's been someone from Antelope Valley High School that's defended our country in every conflict this country's had since World War I. So it's not just that celebration, it's also to thank those folks that have come before us. It's the first high school in the Antelope Valley, and it's an opportunity to, um, to celebrate our own history. So we really hope you come out. That's Antelope Valley High School's weekend, and we're gonna do it right for them. So thank you all for coming. These folks are available for interviews afterwards. Thank you very much.